welcome to today's vlogmas video it is actually monday when i'm filming this and so i went ahead and got ready it's about 10 a.m i am going to go into the office today um from like one to six but right now i'm going to go to the grocery store to get some groceries that we need for this week we honestly haven't been grocery shopping in quite some time so yeah definitely need to do that it's also raining today and i got a package so this is a christmas gift so i will link this etsy shop down below it's called swag brewery but it's really cool they sell like candles that smell like different kinds of alcohol and things like that and they're made out of like old bottles i don't know just cool stuff like that i got a set of three candles and one other item i love shopping from etsy because they're small businesses and they're super freaking creative most times so like here is one of the things i ordered it is the hoppy ipa craft beer candle I think that smells like a nice manly candle. It is spicy, herbal, and grassy. So it's hand poured in the US. Swag Brewery. Really cool gift idea for any like men in your life or anyone who is into beer, whiskey, wine. They have it all. And then they also had these wine soaps. That's kind of cool. Those are only like $5. So I just kind of added it to my order to get free shipping. Okay, so I'm at the grocery store right now. I'm about to go in and do our shopping. Um, Patrick said it was like gonna be busy in the morning time, but I'm like, it is literally not busy at all. At least the parking lot's not full. But also, it is the coldest day that we've probably had. Um, it just keeps getting progressively colder. It actually snowed a little bit this morning, so um, it's kind of melting now, but still pretty cold. So I feel like a lot of people just aren't out right now, so that's nice. But yeah, so I'm gonna go in and get our groceries. Um, I ended up changing one of our recipes. We were just going to do Taco Tuesday and just do tacos and rice. But Jacqueline Hill shared her homemade Crunchwrap Supreme recipe. So I think I'm going to switch it to that. And Patrick starts his new job on Thursday. So I think I'm going to tell him, like, I'll cook dinner that day, even though he'll probably want to be involved. But we'll do that that day because it'll be super fun, something we haven't tried. And we both, like, love Taco Bell. And it'll be cool to make it at home. So I'm going to get the ingredients for that. And then we have, like, a couple other, um, you know, recipes that I need to buy for. And then our Starbucks is also, <laughs> I just flipped up my hair. Our Starbucks is also in Kroger. So I am going to get a Starbucks and I believe this is going to be my first hot Starbucks order of the season because it is that cold and I just want something nice and toasty on my hands. So I'm going to do that and then I'll run home, drop everything off, do a couple other things and then I'll head to my office. got home from the grocery store and I have my hot chestnut praline latte which I must say the hot one is just so much better than the ice even though I like iced coffee more but the flavored ones for some reason the holiday ones to me taste better hot so I don't know about that but just unloaded all of our groceries I didn't really get anything too interesting other than the stuff for the crunch wrap so I got like jalapeno slices I got um the queso, the Taco Bell sauce. I got some new K-Cups. I decided to get the Holiday Blend Starbucks K-Cups and then also the Sunrise Blend, which is a blonde roast, which I don't think I've tried that one before. Excited to have more K-Cups on hand. And then just now I've been packaging these Gucci earrings that I sold on Poshmark. So I just took some bubble wrap and packed them up all nicely. And I'm about to go downstairs and get a bubble mailer and print the shipping label so I can get these out today for the person who bought them on Poshmark. Now I am just making a thumbnail for my video that is going to go live here in probably like 15 minutes and looking at my to-do list for the day um, which I do pretty much like every 30 minutes. But here is my to-do list. I have a very 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 long to-do list today 
and schedule. I got up like an hour later than I wanted to, but I'm actually not too far behind on my schedule still because this thumbnail didn't take as long. But I'll show you guys how I'm making this thumbnail. So I've been making my Vlogmas thumbnails pretty boring in my opinion. I mean, I'm just gonna roast myself right here. They just weren't really Christmassy. So I'm deciding that I need to make them definitely more Christmassy. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, so I just took a few pictures that I took on that day. So this is from like when we were watching Christmas movies in the video. That's just Bucky on the Christmas pillows like he loves. And he is in the vlog a lot. And then my Starbucks drink. I actually think this was from the previous day. But it just kind of goes with the aesthetic. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm just going to put in the Vlogmas titles. And I'll probably put them to like cover up these little uh, Instagram story text right here. Because we don't really need that. No one can read that. I like this a lot actually. But I think I'm going to go download a new font. Christmas Bell. Oh my goodness. See, I like to do this every so often. Just like download some new fonts. So I just like any of them that I like, I'll just go download. That one looks super cute. I have a lot of them that are like script fonts, but I'm thinking I need more block fonts. But most of them are always like script because that's what's so pretty. That one kind of goes with my theme. All right, so I think that's good. Now we install all the fonts just like this beautiful all right so this portion of the vlogmas video is going to actually be a Q&A so I posted um, on Instagram and asked you guys to ask me any questions you had so if you want to participate in something like this next time be sure you are following me over on Instagram um, I will say I have done a couple Q&A type videos on my channel before so I will link those down below I did like an assumptions about me and then I think me and Patrick did a Q&A and then I do some over on my Instagram page just like where I'll answer over there so if you have a question that isn't answered it might already be in one of the other q a's or the assumptions video so go check that out but let's just get started someone said favorite christmas gift given or gotten my favorite christmas gift gotten like as an adult would probably be the lenses to my camera because that helped me improve the quality of my videos, which is always really nice. My laptop was partially a Christmas gift from my parents. Oh my god, I could not do anything that I do right now without my laptop. It is my pride and joy. I'm obsessed. That would definitely be my two as an adult. When I was a kid, I remember my absolute favorite gift was a Barbie dream house. I remember my mom, or I'm assuming my mom, like put it together and everything. And then when I woke up in the morning, I ran into the living room and it was like all set up. And that was so, so cool. Favorite gift that I've given? I don't know. A lot of them. I just feel like... I like to give gifts. I like to find unique gifts. I know I talk about this a lot. I included these in my gift guide videos, but for my friend Amber, I got her a customized pet portrait of her dog Layla. And I thought that was really cool just because it is custom. It's her pet who she obviously very much so loves and then also the gift to my mom that I gave her on my wedding day which was a custom drawing of us together I think that those would be my favorite gifts given someone else asks any fun traditions your family does every year for the holidays yes actually my mom is a huge hostess like party planner trip planner sort of person she loves to do that stuff I would say when I was younger, not so much. I mean, other than things like, oh, we'd go to my grandparents' house on Christmas Day, our house Christmas Eve, that sort of thing. But honestly, I would say most of them have come more so when me and my brothers are now adults. One thing that we do and we have done for the past four or five years maybe four, I want to say four years, is pajama day. So we all get like matching pajamas. My parents, me, both of my brothers, all of our spouses, my brother and sister-in-law's kids, and all of our dogs. And we have a lot of dogs. Me and Patrick have two dogs. My parents have two dogs. My brother and his wife have two dogs. And then my other brother and his wife have one dog. It's a lot of dogs and even the dogs have matching pajamas so that is so fun maybe i'll insert some pictures from the years i really like that tradition just because i like seeing the progression of the photos because like for instance like last year archie was a puppy and then this year he's a big dog and then one year katie was pregnant and then now she has jack and brooks and it's just really cool to see and then a more recent tradition that we've 
started doing that my mom also plans is a gingerbread house making party so we all get together decorate a gingerbread house and then we will have like a couple people not participate in the they will choose a winner and last year she like I think gave out gift cards or something like that to the winner big big question when do you plan on having kids I feel like anyone who's been married for like longer than a year gets this question a lot um Honestly, I don't know. If it was up to Patrick, I think he would have kids immediately, but I just want to make sure I'm somewhat ready. I know everyone always says, well, you'll never be totally ready, like financially or things like that. So I get that, but I just want to be ready emotionally, you know? I just don't know if I'm there yet. I told Patrick I would reassess in 2021. And so honestly, we'll have that discussion and we'll see how I feel then. But as of right now, we're not trying or having any secrets or anything like that. Are you not doing Weight Watchers anymore? So honestly, no, we have not been doing it for probably two months now and we're not gonna do it until the holidays are over. Honestly, we just like to enjoy. Like during this time, we are doing so many things like the pajama day, the gingerbread day, like going out to eat a lot with our family and friends and things like that. So it is just really difficult. And um, although we do try to make better choices like during the week, most of the time the weekends are kind of just crazy. So we have been eating out a lot, unfortunately, and it's just really hard to track everything. So no, we are currently not doing it, but we do plan on giving it a full on go at the start of the year and I know like everyone does things at the start of the year but it is just like a good time to make a fresh start plus not as much is going on not as many like vacations get togethers things like that so it does make it a little bit easier someone said are you coming to New York City this December because they probably know that I usually do come to New York once a year and usually like November or December um unfortunately I won't be because of the pandemic and everything going on but I miss it so much. We are so sad that we can't go. But we're hoping that we get to next year. Someone said, what does Patrick do at your work? So I think I've probably mentioned before that Patrick used to work for my parents. So my parents do own a business in the field of mental health. So he worked there as a clinician for a psychosocial rehabilitation program, which is basically kind of like an adult day program where they kind of just like learn new tasks and um, I don't know, just like socialize in a group setting. But of course that completely went telehealth back in March and it is still on telehealth. Um, so he was doing that. And then he also worked as a payee representative for the nonprofit that I work for, which is basically just handling um, individuals money who they might not be able to. But he actually just got a new job and he starts that job actually this Thursday. He will be working for social security and working for like the disability office. So yeah, that's an exciting time. Maybe him and I will do a Q and A in the new year sometime. But yeah, I think he's really excited about it. It'll definitely be a big change, but it is a government job. So he gets like government benefits and all of that. So I think it'll be a really good change for anyone who is probably going to ask. It is no bad blood. He has worked for my family's business for a long time. My parents love him, think he's a great worker but they want the best for him at the end of the day and this is what is best for our family moving forward so um no bad blood at all no hard feelings at all like everything's good to go i know that could probably be a question that comes up when i say he worked for my family but he just got a new job so anyways just wanted to address that quickly so there is no you know tea <laughs> someone says what's your favorite purchase from black friday slash cyber monday i ordered a couple planners for 2021 so i ordered my new erin condren planner which is a new design so i'm super excited about that and then I also ordered a YouTube planner, which is cool. It has like a space for each of your videos and things like that. Also really excited about my bobble bar order because I just got some really cute jewelry pieces and I'm really excited for that to get in. I ordered from this small business called Step and Stones. I'll have them linked down below, but they do like designer inspired things. And I'm waiting until I get it in to like show you guys, but I'm so excited about that. A couple of them were Christmas gifts, so I can't show all of them, but I'm so excited about this company. Oh, I think the girl that owns it is really, really sweet too, but I'm really excited to see that stuff and it's already shipped, so it should be here soon. But honestly, I didn't make any huge purchases. I made a lot of little purchases, but I didn't make, I didn't buy like any technology or anything like that. And I did also buy a lot of Christmas gifts, so. A couple of people asked me to do a tutorial on how I curl my hair. 
I hate doing hair. I think it's really boring. Um, but I will maybe in a Vlogmas video if you guys would like to see that. I could definitely do that. Um, it's super simple, but let me know if you guys want to see that because I can throw it into a Vlogmas video and do something really simple. Someone said favorite Christmas memory. Every Christmas has been almost the same, which is really great. I have great Christmas memories from all different times. I mean, I remember when I was a kid, we lived in my old house on a gravel road and, um, but you know, that was still so fun too. I just have so many fond memories of just everyone coming to our house for Christmas Eve. And then we would go to my grandparents' house on Christmas Day and I would, we would hang out with my cousins and it would be so fun. And of course, back then we got to open up toys and you know, all of that good stuff. Now, uh, it's great as well because it just like, the love in my life just multiplies. You know, once I met Patrick and joined his family, we have our family Christmas, his family Christmas, and then my brother and sister-in-law have kids now and it's just, I don't know, I just feel like your family grows and it just gets so much more exciting and so much more fun each year. I will say, as far as within my family, I haven't really experienced loss. Like, I still have all four of my grandparents, which I am so extremely grateful for. Um, so I think that's kind of why I'm like, all of my Christmases have been amazing because I have everyone in my family that I love dearly. So I think one day I could look back and obviously have a different answer, but for now, I just love Christmas. <laughs> I just think every year has been like memorable in its own way and I just, I love it. Someone asked favorite vacation. At this point, I would say probably our honeymoon to Bora Bora. That was just so relaxing. I loved how long it was. It was like a 10 day trip, I think. And that was so perfect because we did not feel rushed at all. We got to do some of the coolest things that we will ever do in our lives, hands down, like swim with sharks. That was so incredible. Like I can't even explain it. I actually have so much footage from when we went to Bora Bora. I have two vlogs on my channel from that. So I will link those down below, but such an incredible trip. Like it was amazing. So I loved that. Other than that, also Spain was really fun. Um, me and Patrick went to Spain with my parents, just us four. And that was such a fun trip. So cool to learn about the culture over there. And we also stayed in Airbnbs instead of hotels, which was super cool. Cause we were like literally like immersed in the culture, just like the housing and like the roads there are even so different. It's just really cool. I don't know. So those would probably be my top two. First thing you'll do when COVID is eradicated. Um, I mean, I guess I would say travel. I mean, go somewhere on a plane. I haven't been on a plane since all this started. Really want to plan like a trip to see my college friends. Like we went to Boston one year to visit my friend Kinsey. One friend lives in Boston. One friend lives in New Jersey. I live in Southern, like Southwest Virginia. And then the rest of them kind of live in like Northern Virginia. I think it would be really fun to get all of us together, like in a cool city and do like a fun trip with them. The next question y'all is tea. A girl from my high school left me this question and I'm going to answer it because I don't know if it was meant to be rude. I don't know if she's like genuinely like asking. I'm not sure, but we're going to answer it. So her question says, why did you portray yourself better than others growing up? P.S. Glad life is treating you well. Thank you. So again, this is a super interesting question. I'm assuming from someone who did not like me in school, um, which is fine. You know, we're not going to like everyone we meet and that's totally cool. But I guess my first response to this question would be, that I completely disagree. I never intentionally portrayed myself to be better than others. I never went around and was like, I'm just so much better than them. Like I can't associate with them. But what I will say, and I think the reason why some people from my high school didn't like me is because I always stand up for myself. And that is something that my parents taught me, whether that be good or bad, but I always, always, always stood up for myself, whether that be a good thing or a bad thing. Sometimes it got me in trouble. I'll admit that sometimes I could have done it in a nicer way. Sometimes I had a lot of attitude. I'm a sassy gal and I get that. You know, high school's, high school's tough. I don't know, I personally think that everyone goes through some sort of bullying in high school and it's just a hard time. I mean, 
there are rumors started, there are assumptions made about you, and I guess the most frustrating thing for me is a lot of people at my high school assumed that I had a perfect life. I will admit I did always like dress nice to school. I always got ready and did my makeup and my hair and I dressed nice because that's what I enjoyed doing. Obviously I still enjoy doing that. And I was a cheerleader and my parents at that point in my life were able to buy me just a Chevrolet, but they did buy me a car. And like I'm, I mentioned in my assumptions video, I'm really grateful for that. But I think a lot of people, you know, if you are interested more in this subject and more in, of my background, I recommend going to watch that assumptions video, but I think that is the big thing, is a lot of people from my high school just made such huge assumptions about me, and I guess for me that was super frustrating to walk around my high school and know that probably only four people from my high school actually knew anything about my life at home. I'm not just going to tell everyone my struggles or like what my family's going through or anything like that, but um, I didn't have a perfect life and it was super frustrating for everyone to assume that. But yeah, I wasn't going to tell them my deepest, darkest secrets, you know? I think sometimes I put on a tough face because I'm not going to talk to anyone about that. I'm not going to open up to just anybody. Secondly, a lot of rumors were started about me at school that just weren't true and I'm just not the kind of person that's going to sit back and just say, hey, you know what, whatever, let them say whatever. I'm just not like that. If I know that you said something about me that isn't true, like I'm going to clear the air and that's just how I've always been. Take it or leave it. I'm just always an honest upfront person always have been, um, probably will never change. So we're getting really deep here, but a lot of people in high school would say, oh, she's a slut because she's a cheerleader or whatever, I don't know, because of maybe the things that I wore, I'm not sure, but that was just not true, you know? So yeah, I would say, I would argue, I would say that's not true. Tell me how that's true. When I have one serious boyfriend, I've slept with one person my entire life and he's now my husband. So, you know, it's just, I was really frustrated in school because I felt like no one really truly knew me. They only made assumptions from what they saw on the outside. And yeah, that probably caused me to act out to some of those people in anger or frustration. So, I mean, I'm sorry if I ever made you feel like I thought I was better than you. That's absolutely 100% not the case. And anyone who does know me in life now knows that that would never be the case. I always want to make people feel better about themselves and um, I always strive to help other people and especially help other people in their own confidence and standing up for themselves and letting everyone know it's okay to say, hey, no, that's not true about me. Let me clear the air. Let me set the record straight. Like that's totally okay in my life now. Of course, I'm more mature and I would probably do that in a more mature way. But yeah, so I just thought that was super interesting. I honestly was so excited to get out of high school because I just felt like, like I said, I probably genuinely connected with like four or five people at my high school. But other than that, like I felt very misunderstood. Um, and then when I went to college, I was able to meet people that totally get me and love me for who I am and know my heart inside. I know a lot of people were like so scared to go to college and not know anyone and stuff, but I was like the opposite. I was like, hell yeah, let's go to college. Let's meet some new people. I'm ready. And I loved it. I thrived in college. I loved, loved, loved it. And I still talk to my um, group of college girlfriends. There's about nine of us every single day, multiple times a day in our group chat. So anyways, I don't know. I just, I know that was a very long winded answer, but I felt like that really needed to be addressed because I'm not sure how many people from high school watch my videos, but as much as you might've thought I misunderstood you, you probably misunderstood me because that's absolutely not who I am. Man, I could go on and on. I have so many, so many stories, man, from high school. So if that's something you guys ever want to see, like story time videos, like I got them. Anyways. Yeah, I made amends with the people that I need to and I am I feel fine about everything that happened in high school and who I was and who I am now. I'm totally not offended by that statement, but I do want to clear the air if that is genuinely how you feel. All right, moving on to some lighter things. Someone asks if I ever would do a meet and greet in Roanoke. Honestly, probably not in Roanoke. Just because it's a little, it's too close to home, you know? Like, I, I don't know, I would just feel really weird doing a meet and greet in my hometown because it is kind of a smaller town. If I lived in like New York or LA, of course, sure. But uh, probably not in Roanoke. I think, I don't know, like how many people in Roanoke actually watch me that don't already know me from high school or something, you know? I definitely would eventually do one maybe somewhere else, but I just don't feel like my channel is like big enough right now to do that. She said, not really a question, but do you have a top mat for your Ikea desk? Where did you get it. Yes, girl, I do. It's like a clear mat. 
it's from Amazon. I'll link it down below. It comes in all different sizes. It's just clear and it's easily wiped down and all of that. So I like it. Another question, how old are you? I am 24 years old. What are your must have winter essentials? Beanies, 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 palm beanies, and more palm beanies, like literally palm beanies. Hand cream, I always have dry ass hands, obviously coats and things like that. I recently found the cutest freaking coat from Walmart, guys. It's like pink, it has a fur hood. Ah, uh, from Walmart. I'll link it down below. I'll maybe insert a clip of me trying it on. I don't know, but it is so cute. Love that coat. Last question, what is on your Spotify playlist or what artists do you enjoy listening to? I love that. And we can just go and look at my Spotify wrapped because it just came out for my top songs of 2020. So that's super cool. I'll link my Spotify below as well. It's always linked in my Instagram bio. Also, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see the Spotify logo. And if you click on that, you can see my Spotify. Don't judge me if I'm listening to like a trash song, okay? Um, I'm not like someone that like creates a ton of playlists. I think I have one for like summertime country and like one for Christmas. Oh, one for Drake, my favorite Drake songs. So maybe I'll put up a little picture right here of my Spotify top artists and songs. So my top artists were Taylor Swift, which I get that because I loved her folklore album, but it's weird because like I don't have any Taylor Swift songs in my top songs, but Top artists were Taylor Swift, Drake, Luke Combs, Casey Musgraves, Ariana Grande. Totally makes sense. All of them, I stand. Top songs were Chicago Freestyle, If the World Was Ending, You Come Over Right, <laughs> that song. Uh, Rainbow by Casey Musgraves, Bruises by Louis Capaldi, and Nothing Like You by Luke Combs. So top genre was pop, and I listened for 22,000 minutes. So that is what's up with my Spotify. Hope you guys enjoyed this little Q&A and I'm going to head to my office. Oh my goodness, Buck is barking. He's being so annoying. What is he barking at? Probably the mailman. All right, so I just got to work. Amber went home for lunch, but she should be back soon. Okay, here's my desk. I don't know if I've showed this. I might have showed it a long time ago, probably back in March, but yeah, here is my desk at our office. Um, it's a really small office, just me and Amber. And I just bring my personal laptop to work, whereas she has like the big computer for things that she has to do. So one of the main things I'm going to do today is search for grants and hopefully start an application or two. So we use this website called GrantWatch and then I will just apply filters. So I'll choose our grant interests and I'll choose our location, all funding sources, and apply filters. Then I will have seven pages to look through of new grants and I will just read them, see if they apply to us or that we would have a good chance of getting and then I will um, add them to my calendar and then I'll know when to apply for them and a lot, all grants have like different requirements so some require you to fill them out online, some require you to write a letter of intent, like it really just depends. So I'll just go through and see what they need and write everything in my calendar. gym a little bit ago and now we are making dinner it is 7 50 so it's kind of a late dinner um i am so hungry and we are making a baked chicken parm recipe that we do pretty often here are the little chicken cutlets and they're gonna go back in right now right now we had to use this like block of mozzarella cheese for the cheese because we didn't have anything else Yum. And then I wanted to show you guys this strainer because it's pretty cool. But it um, is like over the sink and you can expand it if you needed to also. Yeah, so it's really nice. I love that. That's probably my favorite strainer we have now. And it's on Amazon, so I'll link it down below. But yeah, here's our little fettuccine noodles. All right. Oh, that was... there was both. Spaghetti. So we both yeah. yeah, we keep our spaghetti and like our noodles in that thing. And I guess somehow both got mixed in. So yeah, that was probably my doing. So we were looking at it and I was like, it looks like spaghetti. And Patrick was like, it looks like fettuccine. And then it was both. And it is both. <laughs> 
Oh well, noodles are noodles. Noodles are in fact. Nudes are nudes. All right, dinner is served. Looks so, so yummy. But I'm probably gonna go ahead and end this video now. We are just going to go downstairs probably and eat dinner. And then I need to get to editing a men's gift guide. Hopefully that video goes up before this one. Then that means that I got it done on time. So, um, if you haven't seen it, then go check it out. But thank you guys for watching today's Vlogmas video, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. <laughs>